What's up everybody, in this video we will start create Android native module but before let's review the boilerplate I've created before it basically use react navigation navigator and contains two screens first screen will be for select image uh, with react native image picker so we can use it from camera or image library and then send uh, received image URL to the second screen where we can process this URL with MLKit library. And let's start to create our module. Let's go to React Native docs native modules android native modules and you see we need android directory which contain android native project let's open it with android studio i recommend to use it if you're going to do something on the android native side and to start we need create a class I would like to create a directory first I'll call it mlkit and already inside this uh, directory I would like to create java class and it should name something our module i would like to call it text recognition module back to our documentation it's supposed to extend react context based java module class let's do this and you see this uh, red highlight means it missing some dependency we can press alt enter and import missing dependency and also it has constructor it should be same name as our class name also import missing dependency all right next required method is get name this is the name which will be used on the react native side so let's use same text recognition module it could be anything here but uh, i think text recognition module is sounds good and what we want to do next to have some function or class method which we can uh, call on the JavaScript side so we need annotate it as react method let's name it recognize image and param will be url all right what next next we need to register our module so we need to create another java class uh, which will be the package 
So let's copy our text recognition and new Java class text recognition package and continue to do the same. It implements interface React package. Import this dependency here and copy these two methods as well. So we need to import. Okay, there is two suggested uh, import from the Android uh, core library and from the Facebook React, which is definitely what we need. Uh, everything else. What left array list and the calendar module is this actually the module we want to add. So let's do this. We will add text recognition module which don't need any export because it's in same namespace. SCOM, Arena MLKit Tutorial, MLKit. So it's available without any imports. Okay, good. We did this. And the last thing to add, we need go to our main application Java file and add our package which is text recognition package we just created to our app packages all right uh, let's sorry And next we want to test what we built. So let's add some code on JavaScript side. I would like to create separate file MLK directory index.ts and what we gonna do here we need to import native modules from react native and then we can destruct our module our module will have name exactly replaced in the text recognition module class in get name uh, method so copy it to avoid some typing errors and let's export recognize image function which will take URL string and will return result of our model methods which we also can copy from our module class and pass URL as a param okay and now we can invoke this method let's do it on the process image screen in process image function so yeah it's automatically imported this dependency and let's pass URL and just in case let's check the URL is not empty all right we are good but uh, actually our method is empty 
so we can add just some log here we can use log d and let's check the usage example sync log d yeah something like this Sorry. So this is tag which can help us to find this log. Then we can just say URL and output our URL we send from the JavaScript site. And another thing I want to show you is a debug feature. So let's run the debug on actual device. I need to connect to my device here and it's appeared and now we can run debug up. All right, we can use the camera. And you see our recognized image was invoked and in debugging mode you can see it stops on the breakpoint and you can see actual euro while it was passed from javascript site also if we continue we can open a locket which contains huge amount of logs but because we use the tag here we can find by tag and also you can see this euro output plus actual value of euro variable here okay that's it for this video we'll continue in the next one